sir, uh, can you please brief us what is the uh, protest you are going for and what you really are demanding? You are witnessing the present situation, the burning and alarming situation that we are facing here. And Manipur has been always a state. Earlier it was a kingdom for the last 2000 years. All the tribes, all the communities here, not less than about 34 to 35, we have been living here in a very peaceful way. And suddenly this kind of situation and the sufferings that people are facing now in this state is really very difficult to explain. We are very peace-loving people and here we are gathering all the people here are from mostly from art and culture. And art and culture in Manipur flourished in peace. It has been always one of the most important things to bring peace and to keep the tradition alive for the last many centuries. But suddenly the whole cultural integration has been broken and this breaking attitude didn't happen in one day it was a sudden thing but how it has been created by some of the people who has been our brothers and sisters we don't know how it was created but it is as you have asked this is our protest not to happen, not to do this, and that the government of India is very much responsible for what is happening here because they are not doing anything. Even if Mr. Amit Shah's visit was here, that was a small package. We don't need food package, we need human peace package. You see, that is very important for us. And that, the other thing, within this period of alarming situation, and this very, very situation which has really built up many kind of unwanted problems again and again. And that when we, we witness the orphans crying, the tears of widows, and the people without food, without water, without home, all of that. And that you know that in war, what happens is we create more prostitutes because it will have the repercussions of the war, what is happening. And now that you're witnessing so many refugees, so many camps, relief camps, that is being operated, and they are not getting enough of the food and clothes which should be given properly. And also they should be settled down again in their own way, in their own cottages, in their own buildings, but it is not happening. And the most tragic part of this country and this situation is that in spite of this alarming, burning situation, the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, is silent, is mute. He is not speaking or uttering a single word over this problem. And they are not really thinking about us. And this is what really is a great, great uh, kind of you know, unwanted kind of uh, problems that that is creating for us. And that is all in the political problem. 
What is your political problem? I don't understand. I don't utter a single word. When you have a little bit of, you know, gain jihad, when you have a little bit of this love jihad, all the, all the people, all the, all the medias are covering everywhere, but we don't get any coverage in the media, and it is happening. It is one of the most surprising attitude of Indian media. And this is what is happening in it. Or in a very small state, very poor state, we cannot afford of, you know, uh, tolerating this situation again and again. We are really thinking for a solution, for a peace. We are peace-loving people. And that's why I, on behalf of all my colleagues here, all my friends and the fraternity of art and culture, request the President of India, the Prime Minister of India, to solve the problem. And we request all the politicians, all the cabinet ministers, to understand about this small state. Otherwise, we feel now, we have started feeling that we are very neglected kind of state and except in the election you remember us nothing more than that thank you so much rehabilitating you see the orphans you see the tears of the widows you see the injured people lying in the hospital you see the people who cannot really afford to help uh, you know lose the daily wages we are if the whole thing is not working then what what will happen to the laborers what will happen to the working farmers what will happen to everything and the natural calamity now is going to happen we don't have rains here and things are going things are going out of our hands and then if you are asking me what solution then we need a human solution. We need peace and that too from the government of India. If the state government is doing a little bit, but it is not enough for us, the center should look after us properly and we don't really feel it. Uh, no, I always feel that this time particularly I feel that we are not even second class citizens of this country. We are third class citizens. Sir, uh, about illegal immigration, what what do you have to say about it? I can't say anything. I am an artist. You know, the illegal immigration is to be solved by the center, to be solved by the state government. They have this NRC, they have foreigners, <coughs> they have everything. It is up to them to decide it. They will but decide it. They, will, will, they, they have to. When they we have to do this. When we are talking about at this that the world is one. We don't require a Manipur which is broken up into fragments by the domestic worlds. We require one unified Manipur. And we have been living like this for the last more than 2,000 years. And uh, suddenly this separate administrative unit and all these things are coming up. Why? At this juncture. And uh, this answer has to be given by the authority in the country and the authority is silent. When they are talking about, they are condemning a train accident. But when human lives are lost and thousands of houses are burned here, not a single word is at the, what is this? The people are asking, why this? There is no answer to it. We are here, Nagas are few. We don't run into crows. Maitais are not running into crows. Because are we not are running. not important citizens of this country. Oh. We cannot remain silent now, the artist. And we are reminded of John F. Kennedy's. Think of what you can do for your country. Now we have to do something for our country. Something for our Lakais, for our sisters, brothers. We cannot just remain idle with the waters of humanity. Sir, uh, as an artist community, what are you going to do? We are going to do, submit a memorandum to the President of India. 
will have a press conference, will will explain the hard realities, the factual things of this particular state. In Delhi? In Delhi. In Delhi also, everywhere. So you have state authorities. Do you think the state authorities have done enough? State, state authority also has not done anything. Because law in the order is primarily a state subject. But they have promulgated, they have to recommend it Article 3 PPY. Anyway, suspension. It says that you cannot tackle law and order, order problems. That is why they have appointed security well, advisors. Security advisor here. DGP has been replaced. Chief Secretary has been placed in position. But nothing is done. The first requirement is peace. What action has been done by the center as well as the state to douse this particular flame which is burning? Do you think the state government should start functioning, the elected government? They, they, they have not been at least uh, at least PR, PR has I not think been they have their yet. own agenda which is not seen anywhere it is not coming out we don't understand what they are doing it is obvious that everybody is witnessing this uh, well, in this situation in this situation what we would like to I uh, mean to talk about is nothing but how directly the center gives its own direct intervention on the matter, that's all. We need a direct intervention. We don't mean that, that is a political thing, but a direct intervention means the solution that they could bring for us in this situation. I think uh, there are great thinkers, there are cabinet ministers, there are many intellectuals who has been with the government and they should be able to think about it. The first requirement is not yet done. I mean, Shahji came here. He stated that a peace committee will be established. Nothing, Nothing is established till now. When there is no peace, when there is no dialogue, then what is the solution? Nothing. So when our minister is taking such a long time to institute a peace committee. So when are you? Uh, what is your roadmap of submitting uh, memorandum within and other actions? Within, within this week. Within this week. Because we do not understand that he <laughs> came some 26 days after because the incident started from third May. He went back and he is asking us to wait for some 15 days. Such a long time and India is such a power. They can do miracles. Jammu Kashmir is a international issue. They could solve it within 24 hours. And why not Manipur? This is the question. And even a peace committee could not be placed in position. And he said that the blockade in National Highway will be lifted. It is not lifted. So do you think whatever is the issue of Manipur is also equally uh, it's not the state problem, it's the India's it's a problem. It's national problem. Here we have got 35 because communities. When Manipur is destroyed, India will why, why not it is counted to be the national problem? You know, it is a big national problem because we belong to the border area. It's very close to China, very close to Myanmar, very close to many of the things which can happen immediately. But you don't have any measure here put to any measure. You have something in Arunachal Pradesh, but that is not enough. It is here that you will find that we, the artist community here, living here, you know, we always want peace. But at the same time, we also want protection. Protection for many things, from many things. The kind of uh, cost that we are paying the rise in the prices everywhere and in this juncture if you feel and if you really face this kind of situation it is not done anywhere and also that too even if the home minister honorable home minister knows about everything he came here but unfortunately apart from announcing 
a little amount for those people who died. <laughs> Apart from that, he has done nothing. The solution is not here because they don't think that we are also a part of India. And that is very important. If it would that happen in Rajasthan, it would have happened in Gujarat. You know, daily Bande Bharat won't do. We don't we are not demanding Bande Bharat here. We are demanding the solution of our own state. You know, we could see the kind of development you are putting into into UP, into Bihar, into many other states. You don't do that here. We can't see anything here. You ask all these people if we could see any development like all these places. You know, a, an expressway could be done in two months, three months. We have we have roads here. We could not do it in a hundred years. So you know that is a kind of attitude which has been adopted by the center to this small state. But this small state is, if you look at the canopy of art and culture of this state, is much more bigger than its border. And that's why it is known as Manipur. Sir, 